All right, guys, so I have homework for you. So I have 16 cups. I want to figure out how many pints that is. So I know there are two cups in each pint, right? If I go from small to big, I divide, or I could, um, so I could, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 16 cups. I'm going to divide it by two. Since there's two cups in each pint, and 16 divided by two is eight. Right, eight times two equals 16. So I know I'm going to have eight pints. My next one, if I have 64 ounces, right, again, I'm going from smaller to bigger, there's eight ounces in each cup. So I'm going to have my 64, and I'm going to divide it by eight. And I know my doubles, right? I know eight times eight is 64. So I'm going to have eight cups. All right, if I have five quarts, I want to figure out how many gallons and how many quarts. So again, I'm going from small to bigger, so I'm going to divide my five quarts and figure out there's four quarts in one gallon. So I know I'm going to have four, four times, sorry, I'm going to have one. <laughs> one times four is four. I'll subtract and have one left over. So I'm going to have one gallon and one quart left over. And again, I'm going from small units to bigger units. So if I have 18 quarts, I know there's four quarts, right, in each gallon, so I'm going to have 18. I'm going to divide it by four. So four times four is 16. I'll subtract eight, take away six is two. So two is my new numerator, four is my do not denominator. It's the same denominator that I had before. So I have four and two-fourths gallons. Hopefully you guys are getting the hang of two-fourths is equal to one-half. So I have four and one-half gallon. Right, I could have divided by two, divided by two. My four would have stayed the same. Two divided by two is one, and four divided by two is two. So four and one-half gallons. All right, if I have seven cups, I want to figure out how many pints I have. So all of these, I'm going from small units to make them bigger units. So I'm going to divide them up. Every two cups is one pint. So I'm going to take seven and divide it by two. So three times two is six. I will subtract. I'll get one. So I will have three. And one's my new numerator. Two's my new denominator. I'm going to have three and one half pints. Finally, I have one where I'm going from bigger to smaller. So if I have 16 pints plus one cup, I want to figure out how many cups. All right, my one cup, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to figure out how many cups I have in 16 pints. I know there's two cups in each pint. So if I have 16 pints, I'll have 16 times 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. I'll carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 32 cups plus this one cup over here. So I'm going to have 33 cups. Sorry if I went too fast. You can pause it. I have to hurry because the uh, custodian is coming to clean the room. So I'd like to finish my math homework before he comes. The table shows the amount of paint left in each jar. Which paint contains the greatest, which jar contains the greatest amount of paint? The least, right? The most and the least. I'm going to figure out which one has the greatest amount, which one has the least amount. So this one's in ounces, this one's in ounces, but this one they put it in pints and ounces, this one's just ounces, and this one's just so how about we change them all to ounces? This one's done, so we don't have to worry about that one. This one. Two pints. How many ounces is that going to be? I'm going to have to do a little converge, conversion here, right? There's two cups in each pint. 
So 2 times 2 would give me 4 cups. And there's 8 ounces in each cup. So 4 times 8 is 32. Plus I have to add back these 4 ounces that were there. Right? I had 2 pints. Right? 2 pints times 2 cups gives me 4 cups. 4 cups times 8 ounces in each cup gives me 32. Plus my 4 ounces I started with there is going to give me 36. So right, this one is going to be 36 ounces. Right, just between these two, I can tell this one is greater. This has great more paint. The green, there's more green paint than there is blue paint. But let's figure out our purple paint. So if I have five cups, and I know there's eight ounces in each cup, five times eight is 40. Oop, now I see which I have the most paint. Purple. Right, purple have 40 ounces. So which jar? So I'm going to say purple is greatest amount. Otherwise people will be like, purple is the greatest color. What, what, what does she mean? Is the greatest amount I could put of paint, right? And the least amount of paint is going to be my blue. Is the least amount paint. <clears throat> All right, my next one. Write a real world situation that can be solved by converting customary units of capacity, then solve. <gasps> I'm going to use my one I did yesterday. The recipe. I'll make it easier too. recipe asks, tells you how much you put it in there, I say I called for it. The recipe called for, I'm just making this up, I don't know what kind of recipe this would be, um, um, called for two quarts of water. How many is that. That's a lot of water. It's like lemonade or something. It needs two quarts of water. So if I know one quart is two pints and two pints is two cups, right? One quart is two pint is two pints and two pints is two cups. That means there's four cups in a quart. So if I had two of them, I'd have four times two. So I'm going to say eight cups. So two quarts is eight cups. Circle the correct term to replace each sentence. Cups or gallons would be the most appropriate customary unit to measure the capacity of a hot chocolate mug. mug right? Not gallons. Right? A gallon is like my gallon, my big old thing of milk. And sorry, when we were doing this, I forgot to show this part to you, right? It was there, right? This would be my, how I measure. Nail polish, I'd measure by the ounce. There's not a lot in there in the nail polish. A cup of milk, like a baby's milk, though, I would measure that by the cup. Right here is also one cup of water, right? It's eight fluid ounces. It's one cup of water. Here is one pint, right? These are the bigger waters. There's two, I've got two different sizes of waters, right? There's this bigger water. And then there's this water, right? This one, a pint is two cups, so it's even bigger than this, right? It should be 16 ounces. This is still a smaller water. I know you guys have seen the bigger water. I just don't have one here today. Let's see, I could look at my Mountain Dew. Well, my Mountain Dew is pretty close. It's 1.05 pounds. It's 16.9 fluid ounces, right? If it was 16, it would be exactly um, one pint. It's a little bit more. 
And a quart of oil, I don't know if you guys know what motor oil is, but cars need oil in them. If you don't put oil in your car, the engine will seize because all those metal are rubbing together and I put the oil so that they don't rub against each other too hard. So motor oil is what I put in my car and I would measure that by the quart. And here is my gallon. And I do also sell milk by the quart, right? They're the tall, skinny ones. I could put four of those into one of these big gallon jugs of milk. All right, so the most appropriate for, for measuring a cup of hot chocolate is going to be cups, not gallons. Gallons or pints would be most appropriate customary unit to measure the capacity of a swimming pool. Ooh, swimming pool is pretty big, right? I'm going to measure that in gallons. And weight or capacity is measuring how much a container can hold, right? When I do weight, it tells me the mass, how heavy it is. How the capacity tells me how much it can hold. All right, and last but not least, the average person drinks one pint of milk a day. At this rate, how many gallons will a person drink in a leap year, right? A leap, the normal year is 365 days. But a leap year has one extra day, right? Every year our calendar is 365 and one fourth of a day. So after four years, I would have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, which is equal to four fourths, which is equal to one, which gives me one home extra day. So 365 plus one would be 366 days. So. If you drink one pint of milk a day, how many gallons will you drink in a leap year? So if I drink one pint of milk a day in 366 days, I drink 366 pints. So if I know there are eight Sorry, there's four quarts in a pint. Sorry, there's four quarts in a gallon. Right, I'm trying to figure out how many gallons of milk I drink. So there's four quarts in a gallon. And there's two pints in one quart. So right, I'd have two plus two plus two plus two, or times two, which would be equal to eight pints in one gallon. So I'm going to take my 366 days, pints, and I'm going to divide it up by 8. So 8 times 4, right, 8 times 5 would be 40, that's too much. 8 times 4 is 32. I'll subtract. 6 take away 2 is 4. I'll bring down my 6. So right now I have 46. Right, I know 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. That's too big. So I'm going to take 8 times 5 is 40. I'll subtract. I'll have 6. I'll have 6 out of 8 since they're doing fractions, right? I have 45 and 6 out of 8. Right, which one of these is e I have 45, 45. I know it's either B or C. Right, 6 out of 8 is not 1 half. Right, 4 out of 8 or 6 out of 12 would be 1 half. So I'm going to say it's th this one. I'm going to double check my answer just in case. Right, Is 6 eighths equal to 3 fourths? Sorry, I'll do it. Uh, I ran out of room. So I'm going to divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2 equals 45. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. 45 and 3 fourths. 45 and 3 fourths. Okay, my finger didn't freeze today.